Adaptive immunity appears abruptly in the cartilaginous fish. It has been known for at least 50 years that all jawed fish can mount an adaptive immune response. On the other hand, hagfish and lampreys, which are jawless vertebrates, lack all signs of an adaptive immune system. They do not have organized lymphoid tissue, they lack primary immune responses, and most importantly, they do not exhibit immunological memory. By contrast, even cartilaginous fish, the earliest jawed fish to survive to the present day, have organized lymphoid tissue, albeit primitive, T-cell receptors and immunoglobulins, and the ability to mount adaptive immune responses. What makes the two phylogenetically related groups so different? And why are they so different? That is the mystery of the evolution of adaptive immunity, and what a mystery it is. It was only in 1998 that the answers to these questions began to become apparent. In jawed fish and all higher vertebrates, adaptive immunity is possible because of what is thought of as the immunological Big Bang, which occurred in some ancestor of the jawed fish. A transposable element invaded a stretch of DNA, presumably a gene that was similar to an immunoglobulin gene or a T-cell receptor gene, and rapidly segregated the transposon sequences encoding the recombinase enzymes used for the invasion from the recognition sequences for these enzymes. These remnants of the original transposon became the recombination signal sequences of immunoglobulin and T-cell receptor genes. Invasion by a retro transposon had been speculated on for many years as an explanation of the presence of the RAG genes which encode recombination enzymes essential for the rearrangement of immunoglobulin and T-cell receptor genes. And that's adaptive immunity appears abruptly in the cartilaginous fish.